Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSecPat. This is video 11. This is how to install Windows Update Services, which is WSUS, on Windows Server 2019. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. So this is video 11 how to install and configure WSUS services, which is Windows Server Update Services, on Windows Server 2019. All right, so let's go to the next page. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is everything is you know, on our Windows Server, uh, on our DC, you know, it houses ADDS, DNS, DHCP, and we're gonna be installing and configuring this Windows Update Server. And actually, I wanna be utilizing a core server to get the updates and do all that stuff. But let's go to the next page. So step number one is gonna be configuring the IP address and renaming the server and joining it to the domain. So let's let's start out with that, okay? So we're gonna do step one right now. Let's go ahead and minimize this page. This is our bare metal uh, machine, like, and we have our Windows core right here. We'll log into that in a bit. Okay, we can log in right now. Okay. And this is, remember, core is just this. So if you do IP config, you know, all that cool stuff. So if we do, um, yeah, it doesn't matter right now. Um, but we're going to be utilizing this to um, do the updates. So on our DC, we have an OU with... Um, uh, WSUS servers, we have the core OU, and we have to create a group policy in a bit. Um, so we don't, in group policy objects, we don't have a WSUS one up yet. So let's go ahead and do a pre, you know, some, some configuration. Actually, I'm going to move this on this screen so I remember what IP I used and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and start this um, initial configuration, step one. Let's go ahead and disable IPv4, I mean IPv6, did it. it. Um, and we're gonna be utilizing 192.168.50.209. Yep. 192.168.50.1. 192.168.50.201. for our router. All right. So that's cool. Let's view this in detail. Make sure I can get to the internet. Boom, that's working. Now let's refresh this. Full deal. Now you see the IP address. Let's do. Let's just turn this off real quick. Okay. And now let's go ahead and change the computer name and join it to the to the domain. So the computer name is going to be Win Two K Nineteen Dash WS US Zero One. Wait, WS US01, holy moly, can't type tonight. 01, WSUS01, I'm just making sure, WSUS01, perfect. I want to join it to the domain. So it's going to be infosecpat.local. Maybe I can't type because my phone is just sitting right here, um, right by my, my wrist. All right, so we're going to log in as administrator. And then my fancy, fancy password. And this should join into the domain. And once this joins, we can go onto the server and go ahead and check out some, um, check out the server that's been joined to the domain. Let's give this a second. More than a second. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. Remember, this is a lab. This is running VMware and a nested network and nest, nested networking. So there you go. Join. Boom. Hit OK. Once this is done, that's fine because I, I know exactly what that is. Restart. Let that restart. So now we can go back to our Active Directory. Is because that, that's there because in an old lab I had the same server. But if we go to computers, we see WSUS server here. We can throw this into the server's OU, okay? That's fine. Now we have it in WSUS, we have our WDS, Windows Deployment Services, we have our SVR, and then we have our file server. So all of our servers sit in the same. 
and then we have our core server sitting in here uh, let's go back let's log into here log into let's do other user all right so let's do infosec pat backslash administrator if i can spell administrator and then my fancy fancy password cool so if the next step would be to install the WSUS role from the server manager all right so let's go ahead and go to make sure that you can see it on the domain we can see all the settings here correctly and let's go ahead and go to manage manage add roles and features next 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 and all the way down here the role is going to be windows server update services right here next 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 and right here is pretty important stuff we have the wid which is the windows database connectivity and then we have the wsus service which installs the services used for wsus and all the api remote blah blah, blah the whole shebang all right let's go to next all right so this is pretty important this is where the content for the updates are going to be sitting so what I did in the background, I created a new directory. So let's go to disk management. So we have an unallocated disk. This is where the data goes. I don't want to put all the updates on the C drive because that's not best practice, at least from all the times I've done. But um, if we just change this, we can change this to whatever S drive. That's fine. Then we have the S drive for our CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. So we can bring this initialize. We can bring this online, and then we can initialize the disk. That's fine. GPT is fine, and then we can put a new simple volume. Next, next. We can put D drive. That's fine, and we can put WSUS as the label, the volume label, and finish. So this is where, and we can explore this. And what I want to do in here is I want to make a new directory called WSUS dash data. Okay, and I want to go into here and I want to copy this directory. And this is where all the cool stuff is going to go. All right, so let's go ahead and hit there, paste it there, and go to next, 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 and install. We'll let this do the install. And the next thing, well, that's, I want to bring that back over here. So that's what we just did, step two. So step three is configure WSUS and group policy for the servers. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're, we're configuring the, the WSUS here, but let's go ahead and go on to our DC where we have to configure a group policy for our Windows Update services. All right, so let's go ahead and hit new group policy. We can do WSUS, that should be fine. And we can go ahead and right click on it and edit. And we can go to computer policies, administrative templates, Windows components, and all the way down, all the way down to Windows updates. Windows up, whoa, what did I do? Um, am I in the right spot? Yep, cool. So let's just hit standard. We don't have to do all this extended. So in here, so again, that was under policy. Maybe I did it a little too quick. Uh, administrative templates, Windows components, and all the way down you have Windows update right here. Double click that and you're going to see all the settings here. All right. There's three main settings that I'm going to be configuring today. There's, you know, in 2019, there's a boatload of them, but the ones that we're going to be setting up and configuring are three. So the main ones are we're going to do configure automatic updates and we're going to do specify inter uh, internet uh, Microsoft update service location. Obviously, we have to know where we're going to be pulling these updates from and then automatic updates detection frequency. So I'm gonna just enable this. 22 hours is way too many hours. So I'm gonna do one hour, that should be fine. And the most important thing is um, specifying where we're gonna be pulling these from. All right, so if we go to just open up a command prompt, I know my 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 server, because I can see it right here. But if, we, if you don't remember your server, you can do an NS lookup ns lookup holy moly 
And then in NS lookup, you can type in set space TYPE equals a record, right? So this is a regular record. And you can just put 192.168.50.209. And this is the record that we're going to be looking for in our DNS. So this is the server. I want to copy this. Okay. And then in here, we're going to do HTTP colon what backslash slash slash. We're going to paste that colon. The port number is very, <clears throat> excuse me, very important. It's 8530. Okay. So let's go ahead and control A, control C. And we're going to paste it right here to set it in the statistics server. <clears throat> we're going to apply this, hit OK. And the one last thing we're going to do is configure automatic updates. This is pretty critical. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to enable this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me. Let's just go check on this real quick. Let's do the post installation while launch post installation. Copy. I mean, copy. We can look at this. It's running right now. So we'll let that do its thing while we finish up the, this group policy. I just want to try to multitask so the video is not too long. <clears throat> Whoop, uh oh, got hiccups. So here we have a few different um, configurations. So the automatic download, this is what we're going to be choosing. But if you want to choose something different, you can. You have option four. If you choose option four, if you come down here, you can select the install date, say, for example, every Friday, because Friday, you know, everyone's away for the weekend. You can do it at whatever seven o'clock and do all that good stuff and let it do its thing <clears throat> but we're going to do option three we're going to do automatic update automatic download and notify for install okay apply okay all right so <clears throat> our group policy seems to be done now let's go ahead and close out of this we have the group policy but we don't have it linked to the proper ou where that server is residing so let's go ahead and link an existing group policy and a WSUS policy here. Bada bing, we're good. <clears throat> we can verify here. We have this OU with the server win2k19-core. So we should be good from here. Let's go back to the WSUS server. This is complete. We can X out of here. We can hit close. And now we have WSUS here. Now let's go ahead and go to tools. W, uh, Windows Server Update Services. <clears throat> this is where the fun begins. We can hit, you know, before you begin uh, in the Windows firewall, allow access to the servers. Pretty much like this is saying, okay, is the server configured to allow clients? Pretty much it is, but we can double check, make sure the server is allowing the clients. I think we have it turned off. Um, Firewall, it's turned off. This server, I, I, I didn't allocate a lot of um, resources, but uh, can, this com can this computer um, communicate, connect to the update services? I'm sure it can. Let's make sure it can ping. For example, Google, make sure, it, why is everything so damn slow? Um, this is really strange. All right, so I'm gonna ping google.com. I can get out to the internet and I can probably ping Microsoft. I can spell Microsoft, microsoft.com. It's probably doesn't, they probably have ICMP returned off, which is probably a good thing. But um, you can hit next here. All right, and I don't want to uh, join their Microsoft Update Improvement Program. I'm going to download directly from Microsoft, hit Next. I don't have a proxy, so I want to hit Next here. And I want to, all right, so let's hit Start Connecting. So pretty much what this is going to do is go out to Windows, uh, Microsoft Update Servers and download everything to this machine in the sense of, look, it says right there, information to be downloaded is going to be all the types of updates, the products, the languages, everything that it's needed to, um, to be able to fetch and synchronize from Microsoft. So this process is probably gonna take about 10, 15 minutes. So from here, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna resume once this is done. 
All right, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. Welcome back. So this has completed. So now what we can do is hit next here. And this is going to show us what languages we want to uh, the, the updates to download. So obviously we're going to choose English. That's by default. And now this is going to give us all the products. And so if we go all the way down here, we're going to see, excuse me, we're going to see Windows right here. We're going to uncheck that because we don't want to install everything. We don't want to get all the updates. We just want to get Windows uh, Windows Server 2019, which is right here. Okay, hit next. We're gonna do definition updates, critical updates and service uh, security updates, that's fine. And I wanna do a manual synchronization, that's fine. And we're gonna begin the initial synchronization now. Finish. Now, this is the Windows Server Update Services console. And if we go to the server, we can see it synchronizes. It's gonna take several minutes to synchronize. And we're gonna see, I'll walk you through these. So we have updates, obviously it's gonna be loading. There's nothing, there's no updates yet <clears throat> because it's still synchron, synchronizing. Um, all updates, if we go to any, refresh, we'll probably see a few populate while it's synchronizing. There you go. But it's probably, if, you know, it's gonna take some time. So if we go to critical updates, go to any, we can, we can hit refresh. We'll see some critical, it says 12 total up here. So we'll give it a minute. But um, we'll go to, and the next one is security updates and the WSUS updates. So this is pretty much all the updates for WSUS. We can refresh, see if there's anything that's populated yet or not. We'll give that a second. Remember, this is a virtual environment, so it's a test lab. So the next, the next section is computers. So this is show us a summary of the status of the computers and, the, and groups, okay, by the groups. So if we go here, we see all computers and unassigned computers. So by default, if we see this configuration in here, if we go to options and we go to computers, you can specify how computers be assigned to the group. You can do it through group policy, or you can just leave it as default and it'll go into the unassigned groups and you can create different groups in here and assign it manually. And so we cannot save anything because it's the server is still synchronizing as it says right there. So that's fine. All right, so see we have one computer right now. We refresh, we hit any, bada bing, we have our first computer here. We have our server core, all right? So that's the server that we have in our domain controller. When, if you if you remember, let me log into it because it's timed out. So this is the, let's go back to Active Directory. We have this group policy. I mean, this organizational unit with this server and this group policy applied to here. Go to settings. We can go to show all. We can see the group policy that's assigned to that server. Okay, can minimize this. We can go back to WSUS and that's all good in the hood, right? So now we can go to downstream server. There's no downstream server at the moment. We don't have any downstream servers. We only have the single server. We go to synchronizations. We're gonna see the synchronization process uh, in a second. We can see here it's running, it's at 79%, so it's almost done. Okay, then we have reports. This, uh, this view shows available reports, so you can see update status, summary, update, uh, update detailed status, et cetera, et cetera. And then you have the options, different options you can do, you know, where we're manually um, synchronizing. You can do, you know, what proxies and, you know, everything. You can do products to say if you want to change the products. So you're like, oh, I have Windows 10 machines in my environment now. You can go in here and click on Windows 10 and get Windows 10 updates. And you can have the synchronization schedule, like we have it manually. You can set it to automatic, you know, once a day at, I don't know, eight o'clock at night so it doesn't, you know, bog down the network. And, you know, same thing, server cleanup. So this will like clean up un unnecessary servers that no longer you know, pretty much right here, delete the updates. 
you can just walk through this and this takes a while. If you do this, I remember the first time I did it, I was like, this thing took forever. I don't remember how long, but it took forever. And um, report ro roll up, we can, you know, that's if you have the status of a group, you know, downstream servers. Email notification, you wanna send emails when your stuff's done and so on and so forth. Personalization, you can include blah, blah, blah. There's a whole bunch of different settings and then this is the, the initial um, wizard when we first installed it. All right, so let's go back to updates, see how this, uh, back to server. Okay, so it's done. So ideal, uh, ideal, idle means it's done. So it's not synchronizing. So if we go to uh, synchronizations, we can see that it's done. It's, eight, it's almost 8.30 p.m. EST right now. All right, so we have this server. So what we're gonna have to do first, we're gonna see these, these updates available, right? These are all the updates that are available for Windows Server 2019. All right, so we're gonna send a, you know, I'm just gonna do two updates. I'm gonna approve these updates. I wanna approve for all computers and for the computers that are unassigned. So for that um, Windows Server 2019 core, it'll go through and hit done. Now, if we refresh this, now if we do status approved, we should see only those two, bada bing, one, two. And that's pretty much sums it up. So now what we'll do is go back to here. We'll see that it's 69, uh, 69 megs out of 95 megs. So it's downloading those updates to the server. So where are those updates going? You remember where we created that? We created on our D drive, um, WSUS data, and then WSUS content, and we have the two updates right there. Uno, dos. These are our two updates that are being downloaded to our server, okay? So let's X out of there. Let's give this a few seconds. Okay, perfect. So updates needing files, zero, because those are done. And now let's refresh this, go to approved. Uh, do, 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 needed. Oh, that's weird. All right, let me just go to, yeah, I was in the wrong spot, my bad. So now we can see, okay, so it's ready for install. All right, so let's go ahead and see you know, it's pretty much done, but I want to show you like on the Windows Server core. Let's go ahead and hit Control Delete. And Control Delete. And I want to show you just a few little commands in here. So just in case those computers don't show up, there's a, you know, you can do a group policy update, which is GP update space slash force. This will force the group policy that you created for WSUS to pull and deploy over to WSUS, all right? And there's another group policy that is pretty, I mean, another command that's pretty useful. It's, let me see if I can copy and paste it because I have the, I have it right here. So I'm a copy and paste kind of guy. Well, I guess not, of course not. So it's W U A U C L T space slash detect. Now, I oh, can spell detect right. Detect now. So that command, I usually run it like three or four times. So that that command will actually re-register the client to go over to the WSUS server to re-register and try to pretty much um, what do they call it? Like, um, like check back in, pretty much. All right. So uh, one more command. So say for example, you're on the server and you're like is the group policy being applied to this? Obviously we know because it's working, but if it wasn't working, you can run a command called GP result space slash R. And this will go out and see what group policies are applied to this computer or server in this case. If we go all the way up, we can see right here, applied group policy objects. We have the WSUS group policy right there. And then we have a firewall policy, policy from our video two, I think when we did Active Directory or install I don't remember exactly we're like in video 11 so that's pretty much it that's how you let's go back here we can I want to show you let's open up this really quick to sum it up 
So what we did, we configured an IP address, we renamed the server, joined it to the domain, we installed the WSUS role from the server manager, we configured WSUS and added the group policy for the server. We verified the installation, we tested it because we can see that it's there. And there's a little bonus slide right here I wanna show you guys so you can see it. So tips, so to re, right, like what I was just saying, to re-register the client, you know, client server in WSUS review, the following instructions. So you can do a GP update slash force to force that group policy for the WSUS policy to um, pull down from the AD server. And then you can run this command, W-U-A-U-C-T-L space slash detect now to re-register as well. So that pretty much sums up the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and video 12 is gonna be coming out very soon. Thank you.